hello youtube hello youtube thank you so much for always coming thank you so much for always subscribing i love you so much for the new ones this is janet rangi for the old comers how about thank you so much you could be doing something else but you chose to come and see janet rangi on her videos guys today i'm gonna teach you my friends why leave your beautiful country and come to america we know home is beautiful we know that we can do well there we know we can go to school there we can start our business but at the end of the day for me i feel like this is another way for you to come and gain the skill my friends you come here you gain the skills you come here you learn the, the, the knowledge information and then you get the money you understand so mostly you are coming to learn your passion okay but in the end you also make money let's just be honest okay with money you can do a lot you can do a lot you are going to build and help your family so today i didn't feel like staying home and doing my normal youtube in the house i mean it's gloomy we are just coming out of the winter it's supposed to be springtime but for some reason it's very gloomy and cold so bear with us today but we'll come when the grass is nice and the flowers are springing out okay so right now we still have that kind of winter weather the skies are gloomy so guys today i'm going to explain to you this is a community college i want to show you a community college and i'm going to explain the benefits of a community college so that when you come here you understand what to do you are going to get an f1 student visa f1 student visa is what you need to get as an international student I have to go to the basics of course of course i have to go to the basics my friends okay so f1 student visa you need an i20 document to apply to a community college you don't have to have all these good grades you can have average grades or not so good sometimes it's just about graduation you just have to graduate my friends okay then you get admission when you get admission they'll give you something called an i20 document for you to take to the embassy and of course you subscribe you follow janet i will do embassy videos and explain to you how that is done my friends okay so thank you so much another thing now we have to talk of cost when it comes to community colleges they are much cheaper compared to universities they are more flexible meaning you can come to class after hours as i said they are cheaper they are cost effective in fact more students who want to save money they always start with these community colleges and i did a reel on this they come they learn they will get a, a associate's degree what you call a diploma three years is what you need to be here graduation you get a degree called associate's degree at home we call it diploma in a, a technical college some of the courses are transferable so if you do not want to finish three years you can always go and finish from my university you can do two years here transfer and then go to a university and get a bachelor's degree alternatively you can graduate you can graduate and get associate's degree so i want to show you one of the departments that is here okay uh, i want to walk you around campus honestly as i said i don't feel like staying home and just doing videos and videos for you okay in the house how about i just show you because i've realized when i come out people feel motivated because it looks so real and i know guys the embassy is 50 50. i'll be honest with you it's not easy but you have to keep on trying you have to keep on trying you never give up okay but if you have a chance to go through that embassy and i know some of you will ask me but i don't have a degree i mean if i have a degree why would i come here it's possible especially if you're changing career you understand so let's say maybe you did a business administration and you want to change to physical therapy do you have to go to to a big university no you can start slow and you can explain to people the reason why is because i did business courses but now i need the uh, the science background okay this says ambulance only you need the a science background so therefore you are going to start slowly you are not going to start like big 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 no you are not going to start that so you can come to a community college if you are changing a course of course if you have business administration bachelor's degree you want to go for a master's but if you are changing career why not you can always come here okay so that is one of the the uses of a community college uh this is allied health uh i think the main entrance is there so i just walk and i'm gonna explain to you this allied health anytime you come to a community college on our website and you see the word allied health i want you to think of the hospital 
Meaning, people that want to work in the hospital start here. Their journey starts here. Allied health. Those who want to do laboratory technology, they can start here. Or laboratory technician, right here. Those who want to do nursing, registered nurse, associate's degree, they start here. Those who want to do respiratory therapy, those who want to do physical therapy. And yes, sometimes if you want to go to the school of pharmacy, you can actually start with some of these courses. But school of pharmacy, of course, school of medicine can be competitive. So they will probably give preference for people who did their basic sciences in a big university. Don't get me wrong. Okay? It just depends how you do the combination. Maybe you have a degree somewhere else. But let's talk strictly for those of you who just want to utilize the community college, come here and learn. The first place will be Allied Health. Okay? When we are talking of uh, what do you, public health, Allied Health. Okay? When we are talking of uh, dental programs, when we are talking of medical assistance, when we are talking of uh, nursing assistant, ta-da! Allied Health. So Allied Health. I want you to think physical therapy, respiratory therapy, nutritionist, radiology technician, ultrasound technician, uh, medical laboratory, nursing, uh, anything. Public health, okay? Tara, right here. I think, oh, that's a beautiful tree. Very beautiful. It's going to be, I think when I, the weather is going to improve, it's going to look very pretty. So I'll show you the entrance for Allied Health. I just feel like walking on this campus today. I wish they had students so we can ask them questions. If they had students here, we'll ask them, why did you come and do biology? And by the way, this building here, what are they doing? They are doing biology one and two, chemistry one and two, microbiology, biochemistry, laboratory skills, you understand? Um, basic skills for nursing, basic skills for basic skills for uh, ultrasounds. Okay, anything basic sciences to start you off. Your life will begin here. Do you want a green card? Allied health. If you want a green card, allied health. Then it's so now you guys after this video you never forget the word allied health. Is that true? And some of you say, Janet, but which campus is that? This one doesn't give um, uh, what do you call them? I twenties. But there are many, many community colleges. If we are some of those people who are even nursing, that one I tell you, although the embassy is not promised, I promise you nursing. I can help you get a nursing uh, associates, okay? Admission, an I-20. We don't record time, by the way. You just need to go to janetrangi67 at gmail.com. Or you can just go to janetrangi.com and I'll help you to find admission, okay? All right, so for those in America, we try so hard to have very good outcomes, 100% success rates. For the embassies abroad, 50-50. But those who are coming for change of status, you know, J-1 visas, B, uh, B visas, and they want to stay, we help them. So that is allied health. What else is on this campus? So we talked of the cost. I think you need to prepare, depending on where you are, from 18,000 US dollars to around 25,000 US dollars, roughly. Of course, these things will depend from one state to another, okay? When universities are charging 35,000, 40,000, so I get universities that charge 25,000, don't get me wrong, 25,000 US dollars per year, okay? This one's here, you can be lucky to find one that is 18,000 US dollars, 16,000 US dollars, okay? But mostly 21,000 US dollars is a reasonable per year. And remember, guys, when I tell you that our college costs 21,000 US dollars per year, it includes tuition, room, board, housing, food. Meaning, if you have a roommate, you save money. If you eat a simple diet like rice and beans, you get, you save money. <laughs> okay? So then you, the most important thing, my friends, when you come to these colleges is the tuition. And I always say, when it comes to tuition, Always talk to the business office or go to the website and have payment plans. Payment plans. And keep watching Janet Rangi because in the next videos, I'll be telling you how to pay for universities and colleges in the United States. I've made those uh, videos before, but sometimes, you know what, it's too much for you guys to go back in the old videos, you want new videos. So I have to produce new content. 
but keep following subscribe i'll come and show you and tell you what you need to do okay to to to, to pay but today's video i'm focused on a community college next week i'll probably guys take you to a university and i like this allied health actually it's close to to hospitals in the back i see that is a hospital right there there's another hospital over there there's another hospital over here you know i like how this this is like the hospital district this is the hospital district guys okay so you just finish from allied health here you go clinicals in these hospitals around here guys and then you get employment in these hospitals here janet is here to make you think like how do you get money what i'm introducing you to to you guys honestly is after you finish high school after you finish college after you finish universities back home don't just be thinking of where you are the world is small technology is everywhere take advantage of outside the country you will learn you will see why they are successful you know what i'll give you a story i've seen people who are in kenya for example very good in marathon very good in long distance what have i seen my friends i see people coming from other countries learning the diet practicing with them to learn what makes them champions and i'm here to say i think we need to know why they are successful in some ways and who will show them you 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 watching me today you'll be on this campus you'll be this allied health you know you are going to get this degree you come here you do two two years before you know it this is a beautiful campus today i say let me walk around that was allied health i think this other building must be something to do with the i think this is the fire department i think I think that is the fire department. Oh, it's cold today. I didn't expect this. But the more I walk, I think the more I'll have some uh, there'll be some heat produced. Yeah, they need to bring the light. It's getting a little bit dark here. Yeah. So, this is like in the middle. We don't I don't have to cover all these departments. But they get the point. I'm gonna show you the next. It says success. Success. Let me see this other building. What is the building about? What is the building about? I know some of you in the comment section you're asking me, Janet. But I need a scholarship. I need a scholarship in a community college. Community colleges they really they can have scholarships. But usually they are local for local people. The good news they are affordable. Okay? But again, subscribe because I'll come, I'll talk about scholarships. Okay? But the whole goal is you start with admission first. Once you have admission, scholarships become a possibility. You understand? Because when you come here, you are part of the campus community. Okay, let me see this department. Ooh, it's a magnificent, magnificent. So, scholarships make sure you apply first. Get admission. Look at the requirements. Try and do standardized tests. But to be quite honest, when it comes to community colleges, I don't think you need standardized tests. Okay? You'll be lucky to get a, a, a get yourself here. I'm telling you from experience. Get yourself here. Okay? It's never about the money. It's about how do I successfully get that admission? And how do I go to that uh, uh, embassy and successfully get a visa? That is how it's starting. Okay, this one, they didn't say the building. I think the sign is in the back, so I don't know which building this is. Okay, I'm giving you free orientation to a community college. I'll go to one building here and then probably go to the car. I think there's a sign on the other side. I think it has. I'm showing you how this campus is look like. Okay. One thing I forgot to tell you about uh, when it comes to 
uh, applying to courses in allied health they are competitive my friends if you are listening to me and you are here in america remember when you want to choose the allied health courses like chemistry biology choose before the other semester ends because by the time you come people are filled them in many people want to be nurses many people want to be physical therapists many people want to be respiratory therapists lab technicians so those classes feel very quick and uh, let me not talk about those courses alone there are other courses in business there are courses in agriculture there are courses in uh, engineering courses okay we have plumbing we have carpentry okay by the way you have medical assistants cnas we have medical assistants here there are just so many courses you can do from here that will benefit you uh, i wonder which building is let me go here and see which one this is John's Hall. Well, I love what this one says here. Your dream, endeavor, adventure, inspiration, your future begins here. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, here's the entrance. The entrance is right here. Future begins here. Green card, green card. Your future begins here. Aaron, you come here. You do this thing for three years. Okay, you get an associate's degree. You do an exam called NCLEX, my friends. You are in for nursing. Okay, that is how you get a green card. Nursing right here. And they have a, this is nursing. Wow. come to this nursing guys right nursing right here okay don't be scared Janet but I don't have a nursing background I don't have a, a science background that's why the school is here they will teach you afresh okay they're not going to just take you and then all of a sudden they expect you to know chemistry they expect you to know biology they are going to train you okay you just have to have the strong desire to succeed even if you're business administration even if you're in agriculture even if you're in the languages even if you're in literature even if you're in history you just have to believe in yourself they will teach you Ta -da! i'm glad we go to show you the nursing department okay nursing department this one will equal a green card general nursing general nursing three years after graduation entrance you can always work in medical surgical you can work in emergency you can work in a surgery you can work in stroke centers you can work in nursing homes okay you can work basically you can work anywhere uh, child and delivery labor and delivery you can work in icu okay but the most important thing is to come to this building here this building here and deliver an associate's degree so who am i talking to before i finish this video some of you who came on a B visa. You came on a visiting visa. We can change status, janetrangi67 at gmail.com. We'll put you into a student uh, visa. When you finish the student visa, you'll get what? Uh, a green card because now you have an associate degree. Okay? That is the process. That is the process. Even if you come on J1 visa, you change the J1 visa. Okay? From J1 visa, to student visa after the student visa you apply to school okay it takes you three years three years you get your green card okay so the sky is the limit okay so always think how do I change status and what is the end goal so the end goal is to change status okay do the uh, prerequisites which you call general requirements and come to school and then some of you say but I have a degree can I do nursing? Janet has talked about uh, accelerated nursing degrees. Can you do accelerated nursing in a, in a community college? No. 
Next week, I'll take you to our campus. I'm going to take you to our university. And I will explain all these courses again. Of course, in the comment section, make sure you tell us what you want to hear, what you want me to cover about community colleges next time. Okay? I want you to tell me so that I can improve. I want to bring things that are relevant to you. We talked about the cost. We talked about the requirements. We talked about the different courses that are offered in a community college. Okay? And how to utilize. It's not about your grades. It's not about the money. Come here. Okay? When you come here, choose your course wisely. Think about the future, the first five years. Where will you be? Okay? It's not going to be easy. The first three months, come enjoy. After six months, come and enjoy. But you have to have a plan. You have to have a plan. Okay? As we conclude, you know, the campus is big. The campus is big, my friends. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions. I enjoyed having you today. Merci beaucoup. Kwaherini. Asante ni sana. For the new ones, Janet Rangi. You can find me on janetrangi67 at gmail.com. Alternatively, just go to janetrangi.com. We can find you quick admission in a community college. You can also change your status if you're on a B visa. You can change your status or J1 visa whether you have home restrictions or not. Don't forget the EB3. Deadline. EB3 deadline is coming. May, June. People are having jobs. Okay. Just come. I've given you the contacts. Leave the comments. We love you so much. Thank you guys, my friends. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. See ya.